Hey everyone, welcome to the Kelly Likes YouTube channel. We are going to look at the seven new things I learned today about crypto unicorns. I was hanging out in the Discord, surprise, surprise, and I was asking around, hey, what should I do a video on? And I thought, maybe I should hang out in the Ask the Devs channel a little bit more. And then right after I said that in the, uh, in the general chat, um, one of the other guys dropped me an awesome link that took me to a summary of all the, all the good stuff in the Ask the Devs channel. So here it is. Here are seven new things I learned about crypto unicorns today. Number one. Once two unicorns breed, they will be locked in the nursery for 24 hours. After that time period, they will be free to breed again or do other actions. Okay, so this is, this is big. Um, I never thought about this. Uh, if you breed two unicorns, they are locked. So they won't be able to do any farming or anything else for 24 hours. Um, yeah, once the game is trucking along, this won't be a big deal, you know, but on day one, maybe this is a big deal if you want to, if you need your unicorn to do other tasks, then you might not be able to breed them right away. You might have to do your other tasks first. All right, number two, breeding mythics of the same class with different mythic parts is the best chance to pass both mythic parts to the offspring must be the same class okay this is big um i never realized this it makes sense to me but i never 100 percent realized this and if you look at the different classes you'll notice say if you're looking at um if you're looking at the main or, or the tail let's look at the tail if you look at a mythic crystal's tail and you look at a mythic heart tail they're different and so the mythic actual the actual mythic parts are unique um so a, a crystal has a unique um, mythic horn mythic eyes mythic body and whatnot so to pass those mythic parts on um, only crystals can pass on crystal mythic parts to crystal offspring okay so has to be the same class for breeding and, and, and trying to get the you know rainbow unicorns or omnom unicorns or star unicorns, that's different. Okay, that's not the same as this. That's you know you're trying to breed two different classes to get the 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 secret class. That's completely different than this. Okay, this is just breeding mythics, trying to get mythic parts on your offspring. Okay, so to get the best chance of your offspring getting you know if you got two single mythics um, of the same class the best way for your offspring to, to best chance it's still going to be a very low chance i don't think it's going to be a high chance it's still going to be a very low chance but that's pretty much the only way that um, you're going to get a, a double mythic from two single mythics same class and the mythic parts should be different Upgrading the gathering cart gives better rewards. I totally never thought of this. This, you know, I don't, I don't know. I kind of thought the gathering cart was just static. I, I didn't think it could be upgraded, but it, it's a building like any other building, so it can be upgraded. So, leveling up the cart increases the yield and the rewards received per gathering cycle, and will unlock additional gathering spots meaning that a fully leveled up cart can support up to three unicorns gathering at once. Okay, that's cool. So um, I guess the level one gathering cart maybe only supports one unicorn going out, and when he comes back, the rewards are maybe, you know, kind of level one rewards. But, you know, a level six gathering cart um, would support up to three unicorns, and the rewards that... They got back would maybe be really awesome. This is the only place that you're getting parts for crafting. And if you're crafting a tier six booster, you probably need tier six crafting parts. So you probably need a tier six gathering cart. All right, so next one. Jeans will not be visible at launch. Okay, jeans will not be visible at launch, but they will eventually be viewable on the unicorn's profile. Um, in my, in my uh, 
other video on where I broke down the white paper, I had speculated um, that if when you took two unicorns into the nursery, you would be able to see that it possibly you'd be able to see their genes. Um, but that as of February 9th, that's not going to be true. Now, remember, um, I'm pulling this just from the discord. Um, the devs, devs definitely can change things. You know, the game doesn't launch to the end of March. Nothing is in stone. These are just, just, I'm just pulling out stuff and this could be, this could be old news. Who knows? Uh, maybe, maybe they will be available at launch now. I don't know, but as of, as of, uh, February 9th, they will not be available at launch. Okay. Number five. Um, lands don't start with specific buildings, but you will be able to build some level one buildings for free on day one of the game's launch if you have land. I, this should actually, I need to change this. Le, um, some, some level one buildings are free. Okay, so some level one buildings are free. Um, you should go set them up as soon as possible. You know, if you got land, you know, go get those farm plots down on your extra land. You might as well put them to use. Of course, you'll need seeds, but um, yeah, I kind of thought that all buildings, it, you know, everything that you were just setting up on your land would maybe cost something, that there would be a cost, but it looks like some of it or maybe most of it will be free. And uh, they don't, none of your, your land doesn't come with anything on it. it it's, it's a blank slate, so you get to set it up. Okay, number six. Number six might be old info, I'm not sure, but let's, uh, it is from December 3rd, but I'm going to quickly read it. You'll be able to get seeds through gathering and by searching through unicorn poop initially. Later on, they'll be given out in jousting and racing. This information um, definitely is a little bit old because uh, this was before they uh, launched the Dark Forest minigame. And we definitely have loot boxes now, and uh, loot boxes will have seeds in them. Um, you'll get seeds from gathering, like it says, unicorn poop, and you'll also be able to buy it in the marketplace. Okay. Seeds will be very important on day one. Do not forget to get your seeds, because without your seeds, you can't do your farming. Okay, number seven. You can spend class berries to immediately recover a unicorn's energy. The cost increases the more you use berries to recover the energy of a single unicorn. So if you, if you keep doing it, um, uh, the first time you, you recover the unicorn's energy, maybe it's X amount of berries, then it's going to be, you know, double the X amount of berries. Um, so I never thought about this unicorn energy, of course, right? We, we got crafting. So, um, when a unicorn is crafting, I guess he'll be using up crafting energy. And then obviously the unicorns are, are they go out on their, their quests. So I guess they're using energy on, on their quests. And if you want to turn them around and send them right back out, you probably have to eat a bunch of berries or you probably have to let that unicorn rest. And probably the same will go for, you know, crafting. If you're, you know, you're crafting a booster and he completes it and maybe he's drained of energy, um, maybe you get to do it right away again if you uh, just give him some class berries. We will learn. I'm excited. Can't wait. All right, so if you want to learn more about this game, please visit their official website. I left a link right there. Um, it's CryptoUnicorns.fun. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.